All right, hello. I am going to show you the best way to set up Cthulhu, which is a plugin by Exper, if you don't know. And when you're routing MIDI, there's a handful of ways you could do it, but this is the best one in my experience, and I'll show you why. Um, and we're, we're also gonna talk over signal flow, but I really don't want this video to last very long. So the first thing is we need to grab Cthulhu. All right, now I like to put Cthulhu all the way on the left, and then I'm gonna pull MIDI from Cthulhu and going to every track that I wanna use it with, right? So there might be like several that I end up using it with. So this is Cthulhu. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to use it. That's gonna be another video, and I'm gonna show you some advanced techniques and such eventually. But uh, for now, just take it as it is, right? So. Cthulhu will make a test tone. I'm going to turn that off so we don't get confused about what's working, what's not. So I'm just going to grab anything, really. Um, I'm just going to grab Operator, right? Right, so this is MIDI playing directly into Operator, right? You can see down here, there's the record button. What we want to do is we want to pull it from Cthulhu, right? And then we're going to record into Cthulhu. So if we go to In, or actually, sorry, let's keep it at Auto. It's actually better if you stay on Auto usually. Um, anyway, so you'll notice in the MIDI from up here, I went to Cthulhu, right? And then I went to Cthulhu again, right? If I don't do that, I'm just saying grab MIDI from this track, but I'm not saying grab MIDI from Cthulhu, the device down here. Once I've done that, you'll notice that if I start recording, now this should be sending out, Oh, yeah, so uh, this is why you might want to, here, let's make this sound a little bit more interesting really quick. All right. Cool, so you can see we're controlling from the left track, the leftmost track, we're controlling this. All right. so then you can like set up however you want the actually things to go, like how you want Cthulhu to actually generate MIDI for this track. But the important thing is you're recording in to Cthulhu with this red button down here, right? And then in the track you want Cthulhu to send MIDI to, you are in the MIDI routing up here, you are selecting Cthulhu and Cthulhu, right? And you can have it on in. Now the reason you don't always want it on in all right, is check this. So if we have this on auto, you'll notice that it's going to work. Right? Right? Um, as long as you have this record button on. If you don't have this record button on, it's not going to pull up anything. Right? So, um, but the reason you might want to do that is say you're trying to capture the MIDI so that you're not always pulling from the Cthulhu, that you actually capture the MIDI. Right? You can hit this record button. Right, so now you'll notice that we have all this crazy MIDI that's going on. And now if we hit play, even without this recording, we're now getting MIDI from Cthulhu into this track, right? Or it, what, it's no longer coming from Cthulhu, it's coming from this clip, right? And so if we keep doing this and say we change the pattern here, right, we could record again And get more MIDI, right? We could say turn off the arpeggiation engine, so we're just getting the chords, right? And we could just get the chords in there, right? And this would even work if we had MIDI from here, right? So say this is some pattern like this, right? Cthulhu will play. And as long as we're recording, it's going to get us this MIDI. Right, and now, if we hit play on this, even if we have the arpeggiation back on, oh, we gotta turn off the record button. And now this, right, so we can still have this arpeggiation sending to another track, right? So if we grab something else, let's just grab like a, a preset here. 
right? Again, from this track, we'll pull from Cthulhu, from Cthulhu, right? Now, as long as this record button's on, it's going to listen to what Cthulhu's pumping out. Right, and we can record that. Say we want a version that's all these chord inversions, right? We could hit this chord button and record another version. Right, so you notice the MIDI's different. And so you can quickly fill up your actual tracks with instruments with MIDI, right, from Cthulhu, so that eventually all your tracks are just working with MIDI clips, which are way easier to edit and way easier to um, do customizations to. And you can sort of get the, the skeleton of it all from Cthulhu and one Cthulhu which is over on the very left, can feed all the other tracks, which are each individually pulling from Cthulhu, from Cthulhu, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's a lot of other ways you could do it. You don't want this pulling, you know, MIDI from another track. Cthulhu just is getting MIDI from either the clips that are in here or it's getting MIDI from, like, your keyboard, right? So if I'm playing in on a keyboard, like I'm doing my computer keyboard right now, right, we could... You know, say set one of these to in for right. We could set one of these to in, and um, you know, or you could also set it on auto and hit record, and that would also work, right? But you don't ever want to change these for the actual track of Cthulhu. You want to make sure that this is coming from your keyboard or from the clips, and then you have everything else pull from Cthulhu. It's a way better way to operate, right? Then you can quickly get these. As long as you're on auto and you have this off, then it will play these guys. And if you have this on recorded, you can quickly capture a new set of MIDI, right? Right, and then once you turn off record, you can actually just play that, right? And even if Cthulhu's not sending out anything, right, you'll still get that. Cool? All right, that's it, guys. Take care.